slimmer, faster, lighter, longer, and larger. Well, that's the five aspects Samsung is shooting for with the new Galaxy Note 3. We're going to see how well they've accomplished that in a brief hands-on. Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Let's get to it. So the deal with the Galaxy Note 3, and this is a, uh, a flip cover, this is the new version of the S-View cover here, which we'll show you in, in a bit. Uh, when it's outside of the case, you can notice that it is quite a bit slimmer than the stock uh, Galaxy Note, than, excuse me, than the Galaxy Note 2 at 8.3 millimeters. It's also 168 grams, and we'll talk about how it compares to the Galaxy Note 2 in a uh, direct comparison video, but it is quite light, it is quite thin. Packs a Category 4 LTE on board, which is the fastest type of LTE available, Samsung informs us. Three gigs of RAM humming along under the hood. Uh, depending on which version you get for which region, you're looking at either an octa-core or a quad-core processor under there. 3,200 milliamp hour battery, only 100 milliamp hours more than the current Galaxy Note, but with some software optimizations that Samsung tells us uh, will improve video playback time by four hours compared to the current model. Android 4.3 running on top of here on this 5.68 inch Super AMOLED 1080p screen. Device will come in uh, three colors when it is released, and it should be available to everyone in October of this year uh, globally. Uh, covers it comes in three colors. Uh, covers come in nine colors. There's a whole bunch of new software features as well. If we can kind of demonstrate here, Samsung has built their software experience on the uh, what is it? The dot, the circle, and the box. So this is the AirView hovering circle. I'm not sure if you can see it on the uh, wallpaper there. Nothing really new there, but when you hold the button while the dot is visible, you get this wonderful circular menu option with a bunch of cool features Samsung has built in here, including things like Action Memo, which is, looks a lot like the current version of S-Note, but say I want to save Anton, no, just phone number, because he's an interesting fella I met, and I want to share some thoughts on mobile technology with him, or maybe Palenka, who knows. And then we get a box around the text, and what you can do is you can call that number that it recognized, and maybe that too will give it some trouble. We can save it as a contact, we can email, we can do a bunch of stuff. Let's try and save it as a contact just so you can see. We'll save it to the device. I don't care, that's fine. Uh, close enough, uh, Anton, but the important, the important part is that his phone number came in despite my sloppy handwriting. So there's that. Samsung is also focused on reinventing its multitasking approach to a degree. So if you bring up the circle again, you select pen window, you can draw a window. Oh, well, once you get rid of the tutorial, you draw a window describing the area where you want a special application to pop up. You can choose from a limited number of applications, but say you want a calculator to overlap a text message or an IM conversation you're having, you can have that. It's in a little pop-up window, which we're familiar with. You can move it around, but what's nice about it is that you can actually just, you can define the exact size of the box. Just some added customization that uh, may really enhance the, the look and feel of the, uh, of the multitasking experience on this device. Multitasking itself is also still here in the traditional fashion we're used to. Drag an object over there, drag this up here, but the dividing line between them is now a little less convoluted. A couple fewer buttons to deal with. It looks, uh, you know, it's a little just more cleaned up, which we appreciate. I just realized we didn't really mention the camera. The software on the viewfinder is uh, the same as what we're talking about, but on the back, we're talking about a 13 megapixel shooter. Samsung has improved uh, the flash. To a certain degree, it is a. Uh, it can shoot a 1080p video at 60 FPS, which is really cool if you want to slow down your footage and get some of that really smooth, uh, high-speed action going on. There's also a high CRI flash for low-light environments, and of course, the crown jewel of this is unfortunately not going to be included on every Galaxy Note 3 model, but some models will support 4K recording in addition to 1080p on that 13 megapixel camera. And in addition to that, we've got ultra high quality audio. We have various other software enhancements, hardware enhancements. We're going to take a, a very long look at this, folks, but this is just a quick look, such as it is. Quick might be stretching the term. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 from IFA here in Berlin. Anton's behind the camera. Once again, I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Stay tuned for much more as we explore this device and others here at IFA.